The Dunlop MSA Formula 4 Championship of Great Britain at Brands Hatch was an all-action affair. Antti Bury on pole position for the first of three races on a wet and slippery road, and he led as the lights went out, being chased by the Jamin Racing run, McGulls in the hands of Eric Lichtenstein and Luke Williams. Bury it was who headed the pack into Paddock for the first time. And Jake Cook managed to gain ground on the inside as Melroy Hainscott tripped himself up and slithered wide through the gravel on the very first corner. There was some great racing going on. Bury faded from the front. Eric Lichtenstein nipped past him and Cook came up to challenge for second place as well. That didn't work and Luke Williams got level with his teammates and he retook third at Graham Hill Bend. Lichtenstein, the Argentine driver, on target for a first win of the season and to become the fourth different winner in the first four races of the championship. Behind him, Antti Bury slithered on for second place despite the best efforts of Luke Williams. He then ran wide, coming out of Clark Curve. Williams managed to get the traction and powered up alongside him to take second place. Lichtenstein was on target for victory, though. Williams in second. And as they turned their way into Paddock, things were about to change ahead of the thin Antti Bury. Luke Williams cut a little bit too much power, hooked a rear wheel over the slippery curve, lost control of the Miguel, and bang! Heavy into the tar barrier. That spelt retirement, and it gave Bury back his second place. For Eric Lichtenstein, a first victory of the season, and it meant he joined his teammates in being a race winner in the 2012 season. Bury was second, Jake Cook third, and fourth was Kevin Corcoran. Lichtenstein understandably delighted having slithered off the road when challenging for the lead at Alton Park. Race two on a dry track, Antti Bury on pole position. Luke Williams was with him at the front of the grid. Charles Antti didn't get anywhere. His car having a mechanical failure as out went the lights. Bury led on the run through Paddock Hill Bent, but queuing up behind him for Jamin Racing Cars and Kevin Corcoran for JTR. Early in the race, there was contact as Ollie Ray fell out with Matt Rowe, the two cars tangling up at Druid. More contact between Fred Martin Dye and Ryan Cullen. This was a big whack for Cullen, sent him off into the barriers, and even though he clattered off the metalwork, he recovered to finish in 10th place. Up front, Jake Cook was busy battling with Kevin Corcoran. The two cars run by rival teams, nose to tail, whilst Antti Bury was on target to become the first double winner in EcoBoost Formula 4. A win at Alton Park, backed up by a winner at Brown's Hatch, who came through to score the race win. For the third, it was Luke Williams on pole position, eager to make amends for his spin on Friday evening's race. With him at the front of the grid was Eric Lichtenstein, and as the lights went out, the two of them made good starts. Lichtenstein moving across to defend from Antti Bury, while Jake Cook tried to go around the outside of anybody he could find. Williams led as they headed through Paddock, but Lichtenstein challenged on the run-up towards Druids. There was just about room for the two cars, but Williams locked up, slithered over the front of Lichtenstein, they touched, and Williams spun into the gravel. He was able to dig himself out and carry on. There was more drama ahead, including the Duratec engine Miguel of Jason Down that got tagged into a spin. Lap two, Graham Hill Bend, a slippery track caused by some oil. Cook slides wide, Bury slides into him. Bangs over the wheels, bangs over the bodywork. Both cars continued. Cook eventually would retire with a misfire, but Antti Bury fought back from eighth to where he dropped to second by the end of the race. Cook made a couple of pit stops to try to get to the bottom of the misfire. Ryan Cullen ran wide at Paddock Hill Bend. As the back overtook the front, there was only one place he was headed for, the gravel and retirement. Luke Williams was still busy trying to gain places. Fred Martin died, his next target, and he dived to the inside line, heading up towards Druids, and picked him off. Melroy Hemskirk was running third until on the penultimate lap he made this mistake going towards Clearways, left the door ajar and through pounced Kevin Corcoran. That put him third, Hemskirk down to fourth as Eric Lichtenstein came through for a second win of the season, a second win of the weekend. Second at the flag, Antti Bury, a great recovery after his contact earlier on. And the fight to be third, Corcoran came through just ahead of Hemskirk. In the championship, it's Bury 22 points clear of Cook. Fred Martin Dye runs third, yet to win, but scoring points consistently race after race. Julio Moreno is fourth ahead of double winner Eric Lichtenstein. Luke Williams is down at sixth.